Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I like to talk to you about bus lanes, bus stops and cycle lane. Many, they get confused whether if they are allowed to drive on those lanes. And so this video is to give you the clarity whether if you are allowed to drive on those lanes or not. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And uh, let's start the lesson. Okay, so firstly I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. If you look at these two signs, there's one on the left and one on the right. Now the question is, can you drive on bus lanes? Now the one on the left is saying, buses, cyclists and taxis are allowed to ride or drive on that lane. Other than that, you can't. Also, it doesn't have any time limit, which means 24-7 you can't. Only buses and cyclists and taxis can. The one on the right is saying buses and cyclists are allowed on that lane and it also has a time limit, which means within that time you can't drive on that lane. But outside of those times you can. So for example, if you look on the top, it says between 7.30 to 9.30, which means before 7.30 you can and after 9.30 you can. But not within 7.30 to 9.30 you can't drive on that lane so here we have a sign saying there is a bus lane coming up and as you can see on the sign there is no time limit which means 24 7 you can't drive on that lane and it can be used by bus cyclist and taxis now if you look on the floor there is an arrow saying to move over towards right and we know there are two lanes on our side which means we have to change lane to right lane which means we need to look at the top mirror right mirror signal right look over our blind spot on the right to see if it's safe and then move over to the right lane and then drive on the right lane until the bus lane finishes when it does we will have to move back to left lane again now here we have another sign saying there is a bus lane coming up. Now the difference here is before we had two lanes on our side which meant we had to change lane to right lane. But if you look on the floor here we have an arrow telling us to move over towards right but we only have one lane on our side. So if you looked early and if you do the planning early, if you look at the top and right mirror and if it's safe, you just gradually move over towards right early on and your car will become a signal for the car behind because you're not changing lane so you don't have to signal because if you do, people might think you are turning right. So in this case, you don't have to signal, just look at the mirrors which is top and right mirror and when it's safe, just gradually move over towards right and your car will become a signal for the car behind. And here as you can see on the floor, the arrow is telling you the bus lane finishes and when it does, you should move over to the left lane. And uh, don't just come to left lane without any planning. Make sure you look at the top and left mirror, signal left, look over your left shoulder uh, for your blind spot and then when it's safe, then move over to the left lane and carry on. Now here, as you can see on the floor, we have a bus stop. Now bus stops are there for buses to stop for passengers picking up and dropping off. Now the question is, can you drive on bus stops? Yes, you can, because it's not a lane, it is a bus stop. Now, if there is a bus, then you will be going around the bus. But if there is no bus, you will be driving on top of the bus stops because this is a bus stop, it's not a bus lane. And that's the difference. So if you see a bus stop, you can drive on bus stops. Now, here we have a cycle lane on the left, as you can see. Now the question comes, can you drive on cycle lanes? The answer is no, you can't because the lane is for cycle lane. Now the difference here is, as you can see, the cycle lane and the normal driving lane is divided by a lane in between, which is broken. So because it's broken, it means you shouldn't enter cycle lane. But if you have to, because of some reason, you can, by looking at the mirrors, 
go in but he must come out again when it's safe to do so because cycle lane is for cycle it's not for you to drive on now here we have a cyclist box specially for cyclist by the traffic light as you can see on the floor now can you stop on cycle boxes when you have a box like that the answer is no you can't so if it's red which is now at the moment as you can see on the picture it should be stopping behind the first line not on the box so if it is red and you need to stop on a stop line on the traffic light your stop line is the first line before the box which means you shouldn't enter the box and stop behind the second line your stop line is the first line for you to stop on the traffic light As we drive on this road, uh, we can see there is a bus lane coming up on the left, which means we will be changing lane. The arrow is also telling us on the floor that to change over to right hand lane, top and right mirror, signal right, right blind spot and swap over to right hand side. As you can see on the floor, the left hand lane is for bus, so we will be driving on the right hand lane. As we drive, we will be looking on the floor to see when the bus lane finishes because there will be an arrow telling us the bus lane finishes. When it does, we will be or we should be changing lane to left lane. As you can see on the floor now, there is an arrow telling us the bus lane finishes top and left mirror, signal left, left blind spot and we swap over to left lane and we carry on. As we drive on this road, uh, if we look on the floor, we know there is a bus stop written on the floor, which means if there is no bus, the question is, can you drive on it? The answer is yes, we can. So we will be driving over the bus stop. As we drive on this road, uh, we see another bus lane coming up on the left because there is a sign coming up telling us that there is a bus lane. Now, the difference here is in this case, the sign is saying there is a bus lane coming up. On the floor, we have an arrow telling us that we need to move over towards right. And we only have one lane on our side, which means we're not actually changing lane. So because the arrow and the sign telling us early we need to move over to the right, what we do is we look top and right mirror and when it's safe, we just gradually move over towards right without any signal because we didn't change lane. We gradually moved over towards right and our car became a signal for the car behind and uh, that will be the indicator the position of your car will become a signal in this case we drive on the right lane because the left lane now a bus lane and then we will be looking on the floor to see when the bus lane finishes when it does we will be moving over to the left lane now in the beginning we didn't signal because there was only one lane and we gradually moved over but in this case before we come back to the left lane or move over to the left lane we will have to signal because we are changing lane in this case as you can see the car in front is already waiting to go back or move over to left lane before we do we will be looking at the top and left mirror we will signal left look at the blind spot and when it's safe we will move over to the left lane so now blind spot if it's safe we are already signaling and move over to left and then when it's safe we just carry on on this road on the left as you can see we have a cycle lane and uh, you shouldn't be driving on that lane because it is for cycle only but as you can see, the lane dividing the cycle lane and the normal driving lane, it's broken, which means um, for some reason, if you need to enter that lane, you can by looking at the mirrors and if safe to do so, you could enter. But then you should come out and not drive as normal on that lane because it is for cycle only. And uh, as you can see here, on the floor, there is a box made for cyclists only, which means if the traffic light was red, then you must not enter the box. You should be stopping behind the first line uh, before the box. Your stop line will be the first line for you, not the second, because the box is made for cyclists only. 
Okay, that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and uh, hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.